This is the artist Kelsey Montague. She is an international street artist who is known for painting a variety of murals all around the world. She has a unique style using patterns and often paints large scale interactive wings. Kelsey Montague was born in October of 1985, right here in Colorado. She even attended college at the University of Colorado in Boulder. After college, she began exploring being an artist all over the world. Her artwork became popular through social media and the hashtag, what lifts you. Her first mural was done in Argentina. I wanted to share this artist with you because one, she's from where we live and two, I have had so much fun traveling and finding her artwork to take photos with. Some of her murals are right here in Denver. This week we'll be creating our own interactive piece of artwork inspired by Kelsey Montague. We are going to make interactive bubble wands like this photo here. Let's have some fun and make them now. For our interactive bubble wand drawing project, you're going to need a piece of paper, something to color with, a pair of scissors, I have a Sharpie to draw with, you can use a pencil, some tape, and then some kind of stick to glue or tape your wand onto. This is just an old stick I had lying around. So to start, we're gonna draw the bubble wand. I'm going to draw fairly big, and I'm gonna to try to use this whole piece of paper. I'm gonna draw an oval. The next step is going to be to draw a second one to make it look like a real wand. Next, I'm going to draw a vertical line all the way down to the bottom of a page. Remember, vertical is standing up and down. So I'm gonna take that from the oval to the bottom of my page, and I'm gonna make it wide enough to get glued on or taped onto my stick. So I might take my stick and lay it on there so I know how big it needs to be, or I can use a finger just to make it more like a wand there. Next, I'm gonna make it look like there's a bubble coming out of this wand. So I'm gonna draw kind of a weird shape. It can be big, it can be small, but it's the bubble coming right off the wand. Next, I'm gonna draw all those fun circles for the bubbles that are floating around. All different sizes. They can even overlap. If I overlap them, though, I'm only going to draw some of that circle, just like that. After I've drawn all my bubbles, I'm going to add a highlight. This is where the light shines on my bubble. It is a long, skinny triangle. Have you ever noticed that when light shines on a bubble, it creates a rainbow? That's what we're going to try to create. So what I'm doing is I am coloring on the edges of my bubbles to recreate that. I'm coloring kind of lightly and scribbly. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna speed up the video as I color through all of the colors to make it look like a rainbow. Now that I have this all colored, I'm ready to cut it out. When I cut, I wanna leave a little bit of white space around everything I'm going to cut. This will help me keep no bubbles from getting cut off. Sometimes what I like to do is I take a pencil as a cut line and draw all the way around everything that I want to cut. And when I go to cut, I'll cut right on that line. Now that I have that guideline, I'm going to cut right on it. I'm gonna speed up the video to show you a finished cut out piece. So now that I have my bubble wand all cut out, I'm ready to attach that stick to make it a little more interactive so you can still see the handle when you hold it up to take your photograph. So I'm gonna flip it over and I actually found some clear tape instead of that blue tape I showed earlier, just so that way I can really wrap it around. 
So I'll take my piece of tape. We don't want this sticking off too far because it will be really flimsy. So I'm gonna get my stick on there pretty close to right where I have the length of the um, wand handle. And because I'm using clear tape, I can wrap it right around. Voila. Now I'm ready to go interact in nature with my fun bubble wand drawing. I would love to see a photo of you interacting with your bubble wand. Please make sure you email that to me. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.